Happy Thumbs Gaming. We shall. Hey, what's up everyone? It's Brian with Happy Thumbs Gaming. We've got some more LEGO Dimensions for you today, and it looks like it's going to be more LEGO Batman movie. In fact, it's going to be level 5, the Phantom Zone story, where we uh, shoot for that rule breaker requirement of 50k, but well, we only get one gold brick. So hey, we're going to start off right where we left off, which is right at a cutscene. Alright, fine. We didn't crash. Good. I would have missed you guys, because naturally, I would have survived. <laughs> okay guys, listen up. Taking the projector from the Joker is gonna be our most dangerous mission yet. So salvage whatever you can from the scuttler. Come on, it's Ed too. Good idea. I got snowshoes and sunscreen. We'll only need one of those. Hmm, this might come in handy. Shark repellent, inflatable pants. What the? What are you doing? It won't open. This is for your own good. No! You can't do this on your own! Grappling hook. But we're a team now! We're dead! Oh no! Oh my gosh, look at this. Wayne Manor has been completely converted and it's all crazy now. In fact, we've got to uh, do a little bit of reorganizing in order just to get inside this joint. So uh, let's follow the old blue stud trail here up top and we got a couple of Agent Smiths waiting for us. So we'll go ahead and give them the old cha 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 and then move on over to this giant teacups. Uh, yeah, this, look, look at my aim right here too with the jumping, it's terrible. But uh, eventually I get it, you gotta spin this push lever all the way around and make these little magic teacups spin to win. And eventually they lock into place and the blue bouncing arrow will move. You can see, yep, there it is, it's down in front of the old teeth. And uh, looks like we have to do some teeth rearranging here. And, ooh, those eyes, those googly eyes up there, a little freaky, huh? Kind of following you around like those creepy parent er, paintings at your Uncle Bob's house. That's right, I don't, I don't if we, even know if you have an Uncle Bob, but... Uh, you know what I'm saying, those creepy paintings that, at the museum when you took the field trip. No, I don't know. You know what I'm saying. All right, uh, go ahead and switch to the back wing and go ahead and get your grapple on and rip out those two front teeth. That's right. All he wants for Christmas is his two front teeth. Ooh, high five. And all right, we're going to spin around. We're going to take out these bad guys with the pew, pew, pews. And then once we get them all cleared out, we're going to drive right on in. Look at that. We don't even have to leave the vehicle. Oh, but we do backflip style. That's that's that style right there. How did he even redecorate this place so fast? Hello, oh, Batman. What happened to your friends? I don't need friends. I don't need anyone. You know what, Bats? For once, I think you might be right. What? In fact, I've decided there's someone that I really need to cut out of my life. And who's that? Take a guess. Everybody, let's go and blow up the energy plant. Hey, grab a bomb on the way out. Go, 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 go! Zone, bad guy. What are you talking about? I'm Batman. I was sent here by mistake. You're not a bad guy? Don't be ridiculous, no. Okay, let's check your file. Please, by all means. By the way, I realized that sounded like I was going to immediately pull up a screen or something, but your file's actually somewhere else. All right, is it just me, or does this level remind you of the last couple of levels for the main story starter pack for LEGO Dimensions? Uh, the end is try, and uh, there's one more. I can't remember the name of it, but uh, it definitely reminds me of that with all the floating, uh, like, up in the air type things. And, of course, we've got uh, lots of studdage from nearby little blocks just kind of floating that are random. So, oh, there's Batman with his first try attempt there and all right so we got a grapple plug leading the way we got that for hitting that batarang terminal on the left and it brings up an elevator so apparently going up 
once we get all up in here, we'll go ahead and close the door and we'll find ourselves. Oh, look at that. I was right. We are going up. Uh, whoa, we're way up here now. This, this was kind of a funny angle here. The door on the right opens, but it won't let me out. Oh, but look at that. I finally sneak out. And this is a little bit squirrely right here, too. Uh, look at that. See, I, I, I thought I was stuck. I like felt like I had to run all the way around. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. Uh, anyhow, this guy goes up and down, but it's the next couple of guys that really throw me for a loop. There's, there's, well, maybe it's not the next one, but uh, coming up real soon, they have these like back and forth rockers, and they, I proved to be not so good at those. My depth perception must not be what it once was, because uh, it's a little bit tricky. All right, it's not not quite yet. This was a new thing too. Uh, look at this. This is uh, you had to hit the circle button, and then you had to actively press the X button. Or I guess it could have been B and A, depending on uh, which platform you're playing on. But look at that. I got some good aim there, and it whipped that around, and now I can go ahead and grapple out and on to that platform. And then watch this. Our our two peeps just jump up and just, no problem. They don't need no grapple. But this is what I was talking about. This guy throws me for a loop. Now, it appears as though gravity does not have any effects on you when it rolls onto the side. See, look, I'm running, I'm running, I'm running. Oh, but then this next time, watch this. Now I try to run while it's on its side, and I fall. So, you know, it is kind of a funny control situation here, too. Like, it stays the same, but it doesn't. Up becomes a little bit more sensitive, same with down. Um, so I don't know, I, but I, hey, look, I made it, but it wasn't my greatest moment in LEGO history. Speaking of which, what, what's been your favorite part of this story pack so far? Has there been a level or a moment or a comment? Or did you see the movie and perhaps have a favorite part of the movie you'd like to share? One of my favorite parts is when Batman was saying no. He did not want to go. And he was, no, 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 no. And he was flopping all around, kind of like Robin does in the old tubes. Uh, it's pretty funny. Anyhow, uh, all right, we've made it to this uh, big platform. This is one of the biggest ones we've seen yet. And it looks like there's three objectives we need to handle as per those three circles up top. And first off, you're going to want to take out all the bad guys. And once you get all those, I think those are Uruks. Uruks? I, I never could say that right. And, and I'm sure some of you Lord of the Rings people are going to be like, what is wrong with you? But yes, I have never been good at pronouncing a lot of those Lord of the Rings uh, or tokenology, as I always like to call it. Uh, I, you know, I love the books. I just have, I always struggle with the names. That's that's the problem. The movies are good too, I guess. But. All right, so we've got one check mark down for simply using the Batwing to go ahead and triple grapple that whole big tall tower down. Now we've got one on the right, which it looks like it's this deal right here in front of us. It's some sort of a, uh, I don't know, it almost looks like a Trojan horse of some sort. But uh, ooh, it's an airplane. It almost looks like Tails is Tornado, except for it's not quite the right color and it is a little bit larger than we're used to seeing it but over in the far right corner here you can see there are a couple of boxes that can be smashed and rebuilt into this little push lever here we'll spin it around and look at that we got ourselves a battering terminal so we'll go ahead and target that uh oh uh oh 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 i promise that wasn't my bad aim but look first try and it takes off and let's see what do we got here what do we got what you gonna do what you gonna do fly around fly around woohoo oh he's got oh he's got good aim i was gonna say he's got terrible flying skills but he's got great aim with that gun he let out a few pew pews and all of a sudden we've got a box destroyed and we'll go ahead and let's see what we're doing. oh yep we got some pieces we can build maybe no i guess we just got the check mark hmm. interesting all right, so one more over on the far left-hand side now. We can see this This one's a little bit different. It's not as easy to get over to that far left area. But hey, guess what? We've got a flying vehicle. So it only takes me half a second to figure that out. And then we drop a few pew-pews from the Batwing itself. And look at that. It takes out these guys. I love the heat seekers. It, like, totally chases the bad guys. As long as you're kind of aimed in the general direction anyways. And all right, we gave him the old Tweety Bird stars and <laughs> kicked him in the shin while, while he was down. Oh, this will be interesting. A little Jurassic World moment here where it looks like uh, kind of the old paddock from the movie where all of the Velociraptors were locked up. Although I only see three of them. Now, all right, you probably noticed there was one of these cargo things over here where we have to have a flying ship to go ahead and move it. And this was kind of funny, too. Like, I guess you got to drop it right on this guy. And it's kind of a funny angle, so make sure you take your time. And hopefully your flying skills are as good as mine. Look at that. Drop it like it's hot. And sure enough, it is. And it goes ahead and rips that open and gives us a master build point. So we'll go ahead and move Batman around on our toy pad and get the old... Going here and look at the, the Urukai. Oh, it's Urukai, right? Urukai. That's right, Uruk. Who's who's Uruk? 
That sounds like somebody struggling to say my cousin's name, Eric. Anyhow, uh, <laughs> in fact, I'm gonna start calling him that from now on. <laughs> What's up, Eric? Uh, all right, so we got uh, a couple of Eric guys chasing after us, but we got another elevator. We're gonna go ahead and hop in, and uh, which one of you is pushing the button? It ain't me this time. Remember when you were a kid, how fun that was to press the button? Or maybe you are still a kid. I remember being in the elevator. That was like the coolest thing. Like, and, and when you got in with strangers at the same time, and they were like, hey, we're going to level three. And you're like, yes, you get to push that button. I mean, am I alone in that? Or, or is that like one of the coolest things of childhood? I mean, moving along, we got another first try toss at the old Batarang terminal over here. And then it reveals a grapple plug, but this is one of the old uh, grapple pulleys where we pull ourselves up. And all right, we're up on this other level here. A couple of Daleks trying to exterminate, but uh, we won't uh, we won't let them exterminate. Oh, that's that first step. It's a doozy. Now, check this out. So this is another one of those like uh, sidewinders. We'll just call them. Oh no! Third time's a charm. Hey, I'm following the the Lego rule of thumb here. We got. Okay, I lied. Uh, I, I blew by that. Usually it's the rule of three. Yeah. All right, five and counting. Let's see here. Will he make it on six? Ah, ah, ah. Oh, six. Oh, oh. Ah, oh, nope. All right, we're taking bets. How many lives will it take Brian to get across this? Right now we're at six. Is it going to be seven? Uh, I guess this is seven, huh? Seven, seven, seven. Whoa. All right, boy, that was mildly embarrassing, but at the same time, it is what it is. So hopefully you guys didn't struggle nearly as bad as I did with those sidewinders. And watch out, Mr. Smith. We're going to go ahead and, uh, well, not give him much room to uh, succeed here. And all right, so we've got uh, these flaming little pedestal things here. We're gonna flip those around with the old push lever switch and they look a little hot, so I wouldn't recommend stepping on them quite yet. Oh, and there's another push lever switch, so we'll flip that. Oh, look at that, and we have cooled things off or at least rotated them to a spot that won't make us uh, uh, a bat barbecue. That's right, it's like a barbecue, but it's made of bats. Not that a barbecue's made of bars. Anyway. All right, uh, detective point. We'll go ahead and step up to that and move old Batman over to the thermal spot, which happens to be the red or left toy pad area. And look at that. We're going to follow it all the way to this back wall. Then it does this weird kind of like uh, wall walking situation. But we're going to go ahead and switch our detective mode over to the the smelly one. I, I guess that's what this is. It's it's the stanko meter. I'm not really sure, to be honest, but it seems cool. And we're going to flip this switch over here that we have found with our stanko vision. And look at that. It's a doorway. So we'll go ahead and enter it. And uh oh, uh oh, look at this. We are on the side wall here. It's kind of reminiscent of the old, uh, what is it, the 1960s Batman where they climbed up the wall, but really it's just the camera was tilted on its side. Oh, did I spoil that for you? Too soon? Ah, oh, my bad. All right, we have followed another thermal trail all the way over to a switch, and we flipped it. And what's going to happen next? Ooh, another door. We'll walk through that door. Now we're upside down. Oh, no. Good thing gravity is not taking place now. But we've got one more door. We'll flip that and go inside. All right, we got, oh, ooh, we got silver bricks. But we don't have anybody to bust silver bricks. Not right now we don't anyway. So we'll flip this last switch, which actually, whoa, watch out, Mr. Smith. Or Agent Smith. And all right, we've got uh, another big platform. So we'll go ahead and walk out on it. Uh oh, it's getting close to the final cutscene of this level, which we will go ahead and watch, and we'll meet you on the other side for the total. So, oh yeah, watch that next step. Code Red, Batman and a child's accomplice are attempting to infiltrate Arkham Asylum. Ooh, that's not good. You put that kid on the next jet to the orphanage. And that wasn't nice either. You mean nothing to me. That doesn't do you any favors. Those were all taken out of context. You even abandoned your friends. Abandoned? No. No, I was trying to protect them. Well, why don't you see how that turned out? I need to get down there and stop this. Well, I don't understand. You left those people behind, and now you want to save them? Yes. Yes, of course I do. I can fix this. I'll do whatever you want. You've just got to let me go down there and save them. Well... And I'll send back all the villains that escaped on your shift. Okay, I'm convinced. All right, five down and one 
to go. Hey, what do you guys think of this? I know I already asked that, but God, I, I really enjoyed this. The movie was great. The game was great. And I'm actually kind of disappointed because I kind of took a break from Dimensions for a while. And then I just came back. But I came back right before the release of this game. And then I took on the Fantastic Beast story pack, which I had not done yet. So I did all six of those levels. And then I did all six of these levels. And now I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm going to be Legolas for a little bit. Ha <laughs> ha, Legolas. Oh, I finally got one of the Lord of the Rings guys' names right. And it was actually on accident. I know, I'm so punny. All right, uh, well, we got through the Phantom Zone story and free play is unlocked. I know that's kind of an untraditional way to unlock free play as we can always throw those characters down on the toy pad in Dimensions. But hey, uh, we've been having a blast with this. Hopefully you guys have been too. Uh, we do have a couple of more Wave 7.5 videos planned after we get through this story. Uh, we still have an unboxed one of them and we've got some, uh, we want to do some Battle Arena stuff. We still haven't even touched the Battle Arena. So let us know what you think. If you guys have any comments, questions, requests, things like that, head on over to our social pages which are actually all linked down below in the video description i know normally i do the old facebook twitter but i was behind i messed up all right uh you know lately the last couple of days i've been getting all these edited and i've been i've actually been doing the audio like minutes after i wake up so full disclosure brain's not quite fully awake yet so uh if i wasn't as entertaining as normal my bad uh we only have well i i guess we only have one more video for this for now and i won't be doing this in the mornings very much anymore so uh hopefully i'll spice it up and you guys will be laughing and smiling and having a good time while finding your way through these levels and uh as for me like i said i got a little bit more work to do so i'm gonna go ahead and get on to that now as always until next time See, 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 see,